Hello, my name is Andrew Pedersen, and I am a technical consulting engineer for ACI at Cisco Systems. Today, I will be talking about the ACI upgrade checklist as well as the pre upgrade validation script. All URLs shown or referenced in the video will be provided in the comment section. So, why does the ACI upgrade checklist exist? Well, it can help us to understand both how to perform the upgrade and avoid costly mistakes that can result in either network downtime or unforeseen consequences. At a high level, the goal of the upgrade checklist is to run through the following tasks, which include select an appropriate version, walk through the requirements to upgrade, download and validate the ACI images required, upload the image prior to the upgrade to reduce time during the actual upgrade, verify SIMC compatibility, Run pre-upgrade validations, which we will go into further detail on in upcoming slides. And finally, upgrade the APIX first, followed by the switches in the fabric. As of this moment, this is what the current ACI upgrade checklist looks like. This can change at a future date, so it is important to always reference the latest information on the checklist. The rest of this video will focus on the pre-upgrade validations section of the upgrade checklist. You will notice that there are three ways to perform the pre-upgrade validations. The best option currently available is to run the pre-upgrade script. And so for that purpose, we will focus solely on the script. In the future, this can change. So be sure to reference the pre-upgrade validation before each upgrade to make sure you're using the best available option. The pre-upgrade validation's main focus is to verify the following requirements and checks that the fabric is in a healthy state prior to upgrading. APIX will be checked to ensure they are fully fit and in a healthy state. The version being moved to will be checked for compatibility issues. Major faults will be referenced to ensure there is nothing that would cause a disruptive upgrade. Switch SSDs are checked to ensure they are in a healthy state prior to upgrading. VMM connectivity, if you are using VMM integration, will be validated and checked for a healthy state. Overlapping configuration for ports will be checked and validated. Overlapping VLAN pools will also be validated. Hardware programming will be checked for issues. Faults should also be observed for contract programming issues. I'm sure many of you have seen a fabric with similar fault pages, whether it's in production or in the lab. It can be confusing to know which of these would actually result in an issue with the upgrade. The upgrade script will flag any faults that can result in a major issue during or after the upgrade. In addition, it will check for all the issues I listed in the previous slide. I'll be running a demonstration of the pre-upgrade validation script on this fabric. If you look closely, you'll see some of these faults called out by the script. I've already moved the Python script to this APIC via SCP. When I run the script, I'm prompted to type in my user credentials, followed by selecting which version I'd like to run the validation for. These versions are what is in my firmware repository on the APICs. Depending on the size of your fabric, you might notice that this will take longer to run in your environment. You will notice once it finishes, there will be a summary result as well as those results saved to a file. Obviously, our goal is for everything to show pass as a result. Anything that shows fail, we should check. If you scroll back up, you'll find each test and what specifically failed. As an example, we can see that I have several VLAN pools that are overlapping and need to be addressed, as well as a fault here for prefix overlapping. If you're fast enough to catch it, you will recognize this from viewing our faults page. If we go back to our APIC GUI page, we can look at the faults and see that we do indeed have F1425 called out here, as well as in the script. This would be a fault that we'd want to address. The pre-upgrade checklist page also contains information on how to clear common issues flagged by the validation script. For instance, looking specifically for the fault we saw present in my environment, I can see there is additional information that can help me understand how to address it. If you are still unable to resolve any issues after consulting this page, you should reach out to TAC for assistance. This concludes the introduction to the pre-upgrade validation script and checklist. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this information useful.